Today we're going to talk about PixCap, the browser-based 3D animation software with AI motion capture. Its main purpose is to make 3D animation easier and more accessible whether you are a professional, a hobbyist or anything in between. So let's take a closer look at it and see whether you will find this useful. So what is PixCap? It is a cloud-based 3D animation software. That means you can work directly from your browser and get access to your project from anywhere without the need to install anything. Just log into your account and you are ready to go, no downloads or licenses. But on the other hand, you're gonna need an internet connection to work on your projects all the time, for the time being at least. But the developer promised an offline mode soon once PixCap is out of beta. So why use PixCap? When it comes to animation, it is considerably faster than other existing 3D packages. Secondly, because it is cloud-based, so you don't have to install anything. You can access your work from anywhere. It allows you to easily create motion capture animations from videos using the mocap AI. PixCap Character Creator allows you to create your own customized 3D characters based on your selfie, and you can also build your character from scratch because there is plenty of options that you can choose from, like skin shaders and body shapes, to the wardrobe and the clothing options that you can choose from. Under the Assets tab, click Create your own 3D avatar button, and you will be transferred to ReadyPlayer.me website. After you are satisfied with your avatar, you can easily import it back to PixCap. Another great feature that PixCap offers is finger widget control, which will allow you to control the individual fingers or all the fingers at once using sliders. This is a lot easier than manipulating each bone individually one by one. PixCap also offers a really easy way to use and incorporate IK setup in your animations. You can click the IK setup mode button in your inspector, and through the IK setup wizard, you have the option to activate the IK for feet and hands, and you can switch them on and off individually. Applying the IK setup will add white controls to your rig, affecting the IK rig handles. There is also blend options to blend between IK and FK. In addition, all the core functions in PixCap are free now. So how does PixCap speed up the animation work? The AI motion capture algorithm is able to capture human poses from any image source and it can do that with ease as it saves animators so much time spent on their blocking process. The AI mocap works fairly well, but the process is not perfect by any means as you need to adjust the poses manually. However, this is a much better and faster solution than creating the animations from the ground up manually. So the AI will rough out your animations and you will fine-tune the result using PixCap tools. Also, the noise and foot sliding issues can be cleaned with the Graph Editor, Animation Layers, and IKFK system because they are all available within the PixCap Editor. The User Interface If you have ever used a 3D software before, such as 3ds Max or Blender, PixCap should feel like home. The control and navigation tools are very similar to all the famous 3D software, and the interface is divided into different sections. In the middle, you have the 3D viewport. To the left, you have the outliner, which is a tree view of the nodes in the scene. It includes meshes, transformation nodes, skeletons, and IK nodes. The Assets tab holds all the assets imported to your project and the video AI mocap you created. To the left, you have the inspector and the AI mocap tab. The inspector allows you to adjust the properties of the selected nodes, including translation, rotation, and scale. And the AI mocap tab is where the videos can be used as a reference to speed up your animation workflow with AI. Importing your models. To import files into a PixCap project, drag and drop any file from your local machine into the PixCap app. These files will be directly uploaded to the asset tab and can be reused on any future projects. At the moment, PixCap only supports GLB and FBX files, but the library will be expanded in the future. However, for now, these are the only two files that you can import to your project. And if you are using textures, make sure they are embedded within the GLB and FBX files. PixCap does not yet have a material manager, however, the developers are promising that it is going to be available in the next coming months. Using the AI mocap. One of the major features of PixCap is having the ability to capture human poses from any video or image using the PixCap AI system. Animators usually reference videos when creating their animations. 
The Pixcap AI speeds up the process as it blocks the animations fairly well and of course you will need to adjust and refine your animations later. But it is actually a lot better than creating them from scratch which would take a lot of time. To use the mocap function, head to the AI mocap tab, select whether you want to use an image or video. You can upload any video or image you want, however, there are a few things you need to be aware of. For example, the video has to be in MP4 or WebM formats, and it should never exceed 50 megabytes in size. Also when dealing with videos, make sure there is only one person through the video sequence. After uploading the video, you can select it and click Run AI on the video, assign a name on your mocap and hit OK. It will take a moment to process the video, and you can find the animation in your assets folder under AI mocap. To apply the motion tracked animation, just select the rig you want to apply it to and hit apply. By the way, you can also export your animations as FBX or GLB to use it in an external 3D animation software by clicking download FBX and download BVH right under that. Exporting your project. You can export your 3D scene by clicking the export button in the top right corner. And you can choose between multiple options, whether it be FBX, GLB or GLTF, but you can also export your animations as videos. The video will be exported from the perspective of the main camera. Lastly, you can choose to share your scene on the web. Pricing Pixcap offers three different subscription, Freemium, Professional and Studio Plan. For the Professional and Studio version, you can choose between monthly or yearly subscriptions. The only difference between all the plans is the amount of AI credit you will get each month. So for the Freemium version, you will get 30 AI credits each month. 200 for the professional and 600 each month for the studio subscription. And if you are wondering what's an AI credit, well in short, it is the Pixcap currency for doing motion capture calculations for images and videos. One AI credit will grant you one second of video capture or one use of image capture. This allows both video and image capture to be used interchangeably. But wait, there is more. You have two types of AI credit, monthly and top up. The monthly credits are self-explanatory. You will get your monthly credit reviewed at the start of each month, depending on your plan, of course. The top-up credits, on the other hand, are AI credits purchased individually. You can buy a minimum of $5 worth of credits, and the top-up credits will only be used after the monthly credits have been used. If you are interested in PixCap and you think it is useful, you will find the necessary links in the description to take a look at it. I hope you found this video useful, if you did please give it a thumbs up and you can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.